Hello everyone. In this video, we are gonna discuss about how the admin pays to his sellers. This video will perfectly guide you to understand the payment flow in Shopify multi vendor app from setting up the payment methods to sending the payment to the sellers. Now, for this, the admin needs to log in to their Shopify panel, and from here, he needs to go to the apps section. From here, click on the multi vendor marketplace app which he must have installed in his store. He will land on the multi vendor admin panel. Now, the admin needs to configure the payment settings. Going to the configuration, he needs to click on the payment configuration menu from the drop down option. From here, he can configure all the payment details. And at the end, he has these four payment options which he can allow his sellers to have on their seller panels like PayPal, PayFast, these are the online payment methods and bank wire transfer and internet banking are the two offline payment methods. He can click on whichever payment methods he want his sellers to have like we have clicked all four of them and then click on save changes. Next, coming to the seller dashboard, seller needs to configure his payment settings from the up profile then payment details section. Here the seller needs to select the pay whichever payment method he wants to use like for example PayPal then he needs to enter the business PayPal email ID and then click on save. The payment methods added by the sellers for their respective panels can be edited, changed by the admin from his panel. So let's see how he can do that. Coming back to the admin panel, for changing these methods, he can simply go to the seller listing. Now suppose this is the seller whose settings he wants to change. Now click on the edit option. From more action, go to the seller payment details. Here, he can change whatever he wants his seller to pay for. Like previously, the particular seller has selected PayPal. So this is the information that is coming over here. But the admin can change it according to himself and then click on the save to save those changes. Now let's see how the admin will pay to his sellers. For paying to his sellers, the admin needs to go to the payment op menu and then from here go to the seller payments. Now here he will have a table where he will see the seller name, total earnings, commission, total paid and total due. Now coming on to like for example seller 1, click over three dots and click on the view option. From here he need to select payment resource. And then we have two options over here. First is the manual and the second is PayPal. If you want to pay your sellers manually, you can click on the manual option. Here you need to enter the amount you want to pay to that person and then click to pay, pay to that seller. Second, we have the PayPal option because that particular seller has selected the PayPal. So from here, the admin needs to enter the PayPal amount. Or the amount he wants his sellers to get and then click on the pay to seller button so this is how the payment could be done from the admin to seller now one more thing i would like to mention here is that there are two automatic payment methods also using which the admin can directly pay to his sellers and uh, if the admin wants to pay to his sellers automatically then he need to check these two feature apps naming stripe connect and paypal adapter in which once the customer pays the amount of the order the amount will go to respective seller account as well as admin account automatically as per the share configured on the basis of commission so this is all for this tutorial hope you understood it thank you